So we've been eating lots of Peruvian food while we've been here in Lima, but today we're doing something a little bit different. We got a recommendation from my aunt to come here to Surquillo, where they have a little French bakery. It's called La Petite France, and it's in a really up and coming area. So we're gonna go inside and eat some French pastries. with Simon, who is one of the owners of La Petite France, and we're just going to be talking a little bit about the project they have going on here. So can you tell us how this idea came about to open a French bakery in Lima? Yeah, the point is just like I moved here like uh, two years ago uh, with the idea to start business in gastronomy. I was just like trying to find a uh, a good like uh, business I can do trying to use the French traditional way of doing things there is something missing here it's like a good bread and the main idea was to do the French way like the old style fashion to, to do the, the bread but with the local ingredients like the French, like the typical French things because as I said before we are just selling uh, like the typical French things yeah. like the croissant and the baguette which are the, the typical French bread. Yeah. And I think now maybe we're going to try some pastries since we're already here. Okay so we have a nice sampling of yeah, French this, pastries this and breads really in front of us. We have croissant, we have pan au chocolat, we have all kinds of stuff so now it's time to sample them. Yes. Taste test. Okay, so what are you trying first? So I'm trying the brioche with apple and cinnamon, and it looks delicious. You can see there's a generous amount of apple right inside. Look at that. You have icing sugar all over your face. That's a good sign. <laughs> tasty. You can, you can really taste the apple. Mm. Yeah. You can tell the quality of the pastry is really good because it just melts right in your mouth. So I'm going for the classic pan au chocolat. And it's kind of like a, a fluffy croissant with the melted chocolate inside. So let's see if you can get it to focus on there. Can you see the layers in there? Yeah. Ooh la la. Let's take a bite. Mm. Oh yeah. It's a nice dark chocolate. And I'm normally not a fan of dark chocolate, but with, when it's all melted and gooey inside, it really works. Mm. So the last one for me to try is a dessert croissant with almond paste. You can see there's a nice thick layer right at the bottom there. Mm. Oh yeah, I magic! I love, love anything with almonds. And the thing is like, I think we're going to be eating dinner soon, but we're probably not going to have much of an appetite after having all these snacks. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm saving the best for last. I actually forget the name of this one, but it's a lot like a croissant with all the layers. And then it has chocolate inside and also something called crema pastelera. And unfortunately, I don't know the name in English, but it's really good. And I love this in pastries. <laughs> So nice. The bread is so airy and fluffy. It's like biting into a cloud that's filled with chocolate. How's that?